right, guys. Well, whether or not I, what day I post this, I'll either post it on the 15th or the 16th. Um, there's a lot of research that went into it. So, basically, this is going to show you the, the difference between an assumption and an educated guess. This is where I get my information from. Um, I just basically make guesses based on what I've seen before. A uh, little story that I could tell you before I get into it is I was playing uh, my my version of Monster Mash with a friend, and he was playing uh, what do you call it? Atlanteans, and I had gotten out a dad on the board and a face down, and he needed to get rid of that dad, otherwise I was gonna win. So he brought out uh, Magillo or whatever the shark monster's name is, and a Zen mine, the Zen mains. And he had attacked into Dad to, to potentially, potentially kill his Zen mains to pop it. And instead of ending the turn, he hit the face down with a Magillo, flipping it up. And it turned out to be a penguin soldier, which I used to put both those monsters back up. And uh, essentially that lost him the game. So he assumed it was going to be something else. I don't know what he assumed it was going to be, but he assumed it wasn't going to be Penguin Soldier. And that was an assumption that lost him the game. Instead of making an educated guess and saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to assume that I don't know what that is. I'm going to guess that I don't know what that is. And I'm just going to end my turn and pop that dad. And then, and you know, I would have flipped up the Penguin Soldier on my turn. But I don't think I really had anything to go into after that. Or I might have still had something. I think he lost either way. But it would have been less, you know, of a thing. So, anyway. So what I'm going to go into is how I how I come to my assumptions or predictions for uh, you know like sets and what's going to be banned and what's not going to be banned and stuff like that. This is going to be kind of a long video, maybe. Uh, I'm not really sure how long it's going to take to explain all this information, but essentially from 2009 to now, I'm going to explain to how you could basically see ban lists and semi limits and limits coming you know, miles away based on promos that are released and sets that come out and things that are re-released and stuff like that. So basically in Crimson Crisis in April in 2009, actually if, first let's start in March. March 2009 ban list, Mizuki was limited to one, Plague Spreader was limited to one, Plague Spread Zombie, Card of Safe Return was limited to one, Goblin Zombie was semi-limited, Necroface was semi-limited, and Gold Sark was semi-limited. So all those things are basically parts of the zombie deck that was really popular back then. So in April, they re-released Necroface and Goblin Zombie, even though Mizuki, Card Save Return, and Plague Spreader were limited. So and then June, in the Raging Battle, they, they come out with the Dark Creator and Allure of Darkness. So Allure of Darkness hasn't been hit yet either. I think it's semi-limited from before. And then September's ban list comes out. So ban cards on the list. Card of Save Return and Crush Card. Both cards played in the zombie deck. Limited. Blackwing Gale. So this is where basically Blackwings start to get hit. It's really slow. And it's subtle. So semi-limited. Mizuki. So they brought Mizuki back to one. I mean back to two since they just released some zombie stuff. Uh, but Card of Save Return is gone and Crush Card has gone. Okay. So then October comes out. Nature Prophecy. Solar Recharge and Red Eyes Wyvern. This is where... You you get you start to get the stuff for uh, Light Sworn and Hopeless Dragon, you know Chaos Dragon stuff like that, all the dragon stuff. Okay, and then December of 2009 also they in Stardust Overlight Special Edition, Stardust Overdrive Special Edition they released Tempest Magician, which is whatever it can be used for anything, and Charge of the Light Brigade. So in October and December of 2009 they released Solar Recharge and Charge of the Light Brigade. Okay, now March 2010 comes. The, the limited list is Chaos Sorcerer, Lumina, Mizuki, Necroface, Necrogardna, Trag, Allure, Burial from a Different Dimension, Charge of the Light Brigade, and Foolish Burial. You see the trend? Okay, so they just re-released like all that stuff last year. Or the prior, the year prior, basically. And all that stuff was really popular at the time. So, and then in, in that same March... They release Dandelion and Red Eyes Darkness Metal in the Absolute Power Force Special Edition. So you've gotten another piece of the dragons and Dandelion. 
Oh, semi limited, the, and on the March list was Dandelion also, and Black Whirlwind. So that's the second Black Wing thing they've hit on the on the list. So first they limited uh, Gale to one last year, and then they semi limited Black Whirlwind to two. They're slowly getting rid of uh, Black Wings. They've just hit Light Sworn and Zombies, and they're they're helping people get Plant stuff or Synchron stuff and Dragon stuff. <clears throat> In 2010, in September, the limited list is Black Whirlwind. Black Whirlwind is finally hit to one. Semi-limited is Chaos Sorcerer, and that's about all that's important. And in that same September, they release Drill Warrior and Gold Sark. Stuff that both decks use, the Dragons and Synchron deck. March March of 2011, and limited is Blackwing Kalu. It's fun, I mean, the deck was already dead, but they, they're just making sure. Dandelion, Honest, and Gates of the 6M. So, Gates is down to 1. Semi-limited is Card Trooper, up from being limited to 1. And then Debris Dragon, down to 2. So they're starting to hit the Synchron deck that they've been releasing stuff for. And then Unlimited is Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, so in that same March, they release Light and Darkness Dragon... The final part of, you know, basically the dragon deck. Oh, also Debris Dragon being semi-limited is part of the dragon deck as well. And then Hand of the Six. They released Hand of the Six even though they just limited, uh, or semi-limited gates. But that's kind of a hint that Six Sam's is going to go away. Okay, so September of 2011. They, rele they limit BLS back to one from being banned. They limit Debris Dragon and Formula Synchron, part of the Synchron deck, and the and the Dragon deck. They limit 6M Sheehan, and the Smoke Signal. And then they semi-limit Trag back from the Zombie Days. And then they unlimit JD from being limited back in the Lightsworn Days. So, and then in September, in that same September of 20, 2011, they, re, they release Spore and Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. So they're kind of giving you stuff for plants and um, e-heroes. And then March 2012 ban list, they kill plants. They just give you some more, but they just, then they kill plants. Uh, Debris Dragon was also part of plants, but I really didn't want to go over that. So in March of 2012, they kill plants. And then they semi-limit Lumina back to two and Smoke Signal back to two since they just released all that stuff. you know. And But I mean, six times is like whatever. And then, in that same March, oh, February, in February of 2012, before the, the ban list comes out, they release Raw Mega Yellow Pack, which had heroes and 6Ms in it. So it seems like they're kind of, like, they, they killed 6Ms, and then they're bringing it back. I don't know, it's kind of weird. And then, in March, in the Order of Chaos Special Edition, we got Valor. So, that's not really anything in particular. Valor might be limited, I don't know. I'm semi-limited. Okay, so the March ban list killed plants. Is bringing back Light Sworn and Six Sam's a little, and with the help of September's ban list, we're bringing JD back to three. Um, and then September's ban list for this year, basically Chaos Sorcerer went back down to one, and Red Eyes Doctor Metal, Dark Metal's gone. I mean, he's down to one. And semi limited is Black Wing Kalut, so they brought him back Kalut to two, Debris Dragon back to two, Tour Guide down to two, and Rescue Rabbit down to two. An emergency ba emergency e emergency call is down to two, and seal of conviction for heretics is down to two. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. Basically, dragons is dead. Not really, but hopeless dragon. Uh, that that version is kind of dead. Uh, chaos sorcerer is down to one, so you can't really run chaos sorcerer in anything. You still got BLS. Uh, they want you to play BLS basically. Um, Blackwing colutes up to two, so we could see black wings coming back. Maybe, I doubt it. Debris Guidance back to two. Tour Guide's down to two. I don't think anything else is going to happen to that. But Rescue Rabbit's down to two. Now, this is what, what I caught, what I thought was interesting. Rescue Rabbit was in Rabbit in the, you know, the Rabbit deck. Um, Dino Rabbits. And, like, they re released all the Dino Rabbit stuff in tins. You know, I didn't really go over the tins. Tins are kind of important, too, but I didn't. It just would have been a really long video. All the stuff in the tins came out and then they the rabbits came down to two. 
and then they just, they just re-released rabbits again in the new tins. So I could assume, I could probably safely assume, uh, making an educated guess that rabbit is probably going to be hit to one or banned. Um, because now in September, in that same September, TG Hyper Librarian. Oh, check it out. Hold on. So not TG Hyper. Sorry. So rabbits is going down to two, and then in September they're coming out with new stuff. In December they're coming out with new stuff. So in September and December, this isn't anything that's probably going to get hit. Most likely this is stuff that they're trying to promote and a hint at stuff that might be getting hit. So in September they released TG Hyper Librarian? Question mark. You know, and like, why would they reprint that for Lovels? And number thirty Acid Golem. Why would they reprint that for the water deck? Because he's a water monster and he works with Bahamut Shark. So, you know, nobody's playing it yet, but I wouldn't be surprised to see that combo. And then, okay, so in December, the Abyss Rising Special Edition is coming out. And what are the promos? Ga 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 Girl. So why would they reprint that? That's, like, weird. That might be the throwaway card. And then Dark Smog. Is Dark Smog a hint telling us that Dark Worlds is going to get hit? Uh, your guess is as good as mine, but I'm, I'm assuming yes. And as you can see, from March to September, basically... They've been reprinting a lot of hero stuff, so I'm gonna have to make another educated guess that heroes is probably gonna get hit in March again. So my guess is for March, for March ban list, uh, wind ups, wind ups will probably get hit, wind ups, and then heroes and dark world, and I wouldn't be surprised if they hit another part of heretics. So those are four decks that are people are playing that they want you to play. Lovels, they want you to play water. You know, uh, Black Wings might be making a comeback. They're starting to bring stuff back slowly. Light Sworn is coming back again. Uh, but as you've seen in the video, basically Light Sworn has gone up and down. Uh, Black Wings only went down and it's starting to come back up now. Six Sam's has gone up and down. So those are kind of like their fallback decks that are just like basically really cheap and easy to make. And people like them. So basically that's the video. Uh, so you can see kind of the trend. If you're paying attention, you can look at the ban list, and then you can look at the special editions and stuff that they bring out, and then you can look at the ban list again, and it like it it all follows a pattern. So basically, uh, yeah. So pay attention to those limited and semi-limited things because they 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 usually end up becoming banned or let you know what decks are going to be killed basically or very crippled. Uh, it's basically the video uh, in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know some things I forgot. I, you know, I, I probably forgot a lot of stuff. I was trying to rush through this a little bit. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button to see when I put new videos. And thanks for watching.